One of them is Terence McKenna, an ethnobotanist who studied shamanism in the Amazons. According to McKenna, to get ready for a future life where we will live uploaded in computers, we must first prepare ourselves mentally. The best way to do so, he believes, is through the use of psychedelic drugs. In a sense, this historical crisis or this singularity that we're approaching is like a transition from a low-dimensional world, say a world of two or three dimensions, to a world of four, five, or six dimensions. This is what I believe actually happens to a human uh, brain-mind system under the influence of psychedelics. So in a way, the best practice for the uh, approaching singularity is the repeated dissolving and reconstituting of one's personality through the use of psychedelic uh, substances. This is one of the most interesting new psychedelics in the world. This is salvia divinorum and uh, it is definitely one of the plants which will shape the next few decades of the new millennium. This is a coleus. It's ironic that these plants, which have been in our kitchens and in our windowsill flower beds for generations, turn out to contain psychoactive compounds as powerful as any known to science. These are not particularly interesting in terms of drugs, but they're certainly bizarre. When I take psychedelics, I always do it in a shamanic style, usually at night, usually alone, in nature if possible, and then I watch. I pay very close attention. I use my mind as an alchemical vessel for carrying out observations on the union of spirit, my spirit, my personality, and matter, the physical matter of the substance that I'm ingesting. Here, we may. This is one of the most interesting plants in the garden. This is Cicotria viridis. This is the plant which causes the vision. When taken with ayahuasca, when taken as a liquid, the experience lasts about four to six hours. It's not as intense as smoking it. Smoking it is the most intense experience this side of the yawning grave.